All right, introduce yourself to the vlog. Eric Jenkins, Nike Oregon Project. Former, okay. former Oregon Duck. Former Oregon Duck. Have you raced yet this season? Um, yeah, I did a 5K um, here at Peyton Jordan uh, like five, six weeks ago. Okay, how'd it go? It was good. You know, I went and got the, the A standard, so. Oh, well, can't ask for more yeah, than that. More, yeah. Nice, what are you racing tomorrow? Two mile. Okay, how are you feeling about it? I feel good. It's gonna be um, really fast <laughs> um, against the best guys in the world. So it's, you know, I feel good and I'm excited. Nice. And what have you been doing leading up to this race? Have you guys been at altitude or anything? No, not no. at altitude um, so far. Just back in Portland, training hard. Um, but it's, everything's going well, so it should be good. Nice. Yeah. You've been healthy? Been healthy. So okay, I, I awesome. Been yeah. yeah, seriously. Yeah. Do you have any pre race superstitions? Um, I don't. I would say I used to. I would, okay, what um, do they used to be? It used to be kind of the, like the eating everything at the same, like I wanted to eat the same meal. Yeah. I wanted to eat the same thing before every race. Um, little things like that. But now I, I've kind of uh, gone away from, from that. Now you just become more, more adaptable? More adaptable. Do you, think it's, do you think it's better that way? I think it's better that way. I think it's healthier that way. Yeah. Um, I think you get less stressed if you're less more stressed. adaptable. You know, I don't want to... Um, have a panic attack because I can't eat a bagel before a race. <laughs> that so makes if, sense. If you can adapt and and kind of get away from that, I think that's the best. Nice. Who are you most excited to race tomorrow or throughout the season? Most excited to race. Yeah. Or um, who's your favorite person to race in the entire world? Favorite person to race. <laughs> I love racing against um, my friends. Okay. Um, but no friends in the race tomorrow. So yeah. I just have to settle with guys like Salomon Borrega, the best five people. Yeah, yeah, world. casual. Yeah, ca you know, him, um, Chalimo. Yeah. And then every <laughs> other amazing, uh, I'll just, they'll, they'll be fun to race tomorrow too. All right. And keep up with them. Yeah. yeah. You will, keep, will up with them. keep up with them. Do you have any specific race strategy? I'll just go out there and win, I think. Yeah, um, <laughs> that's a good one. I'm Actually, gonna, I've never yeah. heard of that one. So I'm going to go out really hard. I'll probably be not right on the rabbit, but like second off the rabbit. And then. <laughs> Uh, just kick really hard, probably not too, probably like 300, um, 250 to go. Okay. And then win it. Yeah, yeah. That's, that seems very straightforward. It's I'm funny, excited to watch that. I always have that strategy though, and it's... <laughs> Does it work? It works sometimes. Yeah. And it also, you know, it doesn't work a lot of times, but I sometimes... I have a feeling it's going to work tomorrow. Sometimes I can't implement it tomorrow. I really think I can implement it. So, I feel like your guys' training group has grown a little bit. Mm -hmm. How has that been, training with some new guys? It's been good. You know, it's it's kind of crazy to add guys like Donovan. Brazier, yeah. You know, because he's, as far as athletes go, like, me and him are very different. Um, In what ways? Like, he's a very, he's super fast. I'm not as fast. <laughs> he doesn't want to do a lot of mileage. I'd like to run a lot of mileage. Okay. In the middle and battle it out. And battle it out. I mean, he's more of an 800 guy. He's at what would you say is your specialty? Um, probably the 5K right now. Okay. 5K, 1500 type of thing. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I guess you guys do meet in the middle. Yeah, no, it's fun. It's been awesome. He's such a, like, a great guy. And, like, the energy that he brings, Craig brings, like, it's, it, there's so much fun. And I think having fun, if you can have fun and still train at that high level, like, that's what makes everything able to, you know, have that longevity. And it makes coming to practices you know, enjoyable. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Keeping it fun. Keeping That's the number one thing. That's like a very yeah. Like when your mom says have answer. fun and you're like, shut up. <laughs> you don't get it. She was right. Yeah, no, yeah. it's very true. She was right. Okay, I've got a lot of younger viewers. Mm -hmm. um, if you could give one tip yeah. to all of the younger viewers out there, yeah. what would it be? Um, in life or in running? In life or in running. Um, I think in, in running, staying healthy. You know, you hear about staying healthy and you and it's how important it is. Um, I would always, I think less is more really when it comes to younger runners. And even now, it's take, if you think you need a day off, you probably needed a day off five days ago. <laughs> um, so honestly, you really can't take enough days off really. You need to like be healthy, be smart, um, and, and tr try and, and if you can keep having fun with it, then that, that's for sure the best way to do it. Nice. Well, good luck tomorrow. Thank you.